sorry that I sound like I am sick because I am. <laughs> Greetings, welcome to Book Invasion. My name is Scott, thank you for watching. Welcome to part one of my mid-year book haul. These are all the books that I've accumulated probably this year, probably some last year, I don't know. I haven't done a book haul yet at all. So these are just some of the books that I've obtained um, since the middle of this year. It's gonna take forever, so let's do it. Most of these are thrift store buys. Um, I'll tell you how much I paid if I have the price tag on them. We can do a calculation at the end or something like that. Uh, book number one is Feed by M.T. Anderson. M.T. Anderson also wrote The Assassination of Brand Wing Spurge, which was awesome. Feed says, we went to the moon to have fun, but the moon turned out to completely suck. Uh, there's a constant stream of games and shows feeding into your brain. Uh, a hacker causes their feeds to malfunction, leaving them stuck on the moon with nothing but their own thoughts. It's kind of sci-fi-ish. I haven't read this one. Uh, number two, Suffer the Children by Craig DeLui. I have not yet read this one either. It seems dark and depressing, and uh, it looks awesome. Craig DeLui also wrote uh, One of Us, which I did a review for. Check that out. I have a graphic novel of Grimm's Fairy Tales, which looks pretty cool. It's illustrated pretty cool. Uh, it's got all the stories in there. Haven't read that one yet. Next book is The Mystic Arts of Erasing All Signs of Death by Charlie Huston. And this has a blurb on the back by Stephen King. It's kind of like a, I guess, a thriller mystery. Haven't read it. Looks cool. The next one is The Big Honker. This is uh, Cages by Dave McKean. It's kind of like a graphic novel by the illustrator who did the cover art for um, like Sandman. Ugh. It's got different kind of art styles through it. Some are color, some are black and white. And it's huge. It's heavy. I haven't read that one, but that one looks awesome. I'm running out of room to put all my stuff. Check this out. MC Escher, the pop-up book. Uh, See if I can do this. How cool is that? Check it out. I love this thing. It looks cooler on camera. That's awesome. I love that. All right. Uh, uh. Let's go through this box. Walk Away by Cory Doctorow. This was okay. I think I didn't finish it. I got the sign at one of his author events um, about like a dystopian world where people just start walking away from technology. I have not finished that. I have Mass Market Paperback of Ready Player One. It's like my fourth copy of that book. Uh, the Dark Side by Anthony O'Neill. This has a blurb on the top by Peter Kleins, who I adore and love. And it looks like a sci-fi uh, psychotic android begins a murderous odyssey across the far side of the moon. That looks interesting. I haven't read that. This one I have read. Brilliance by Marcus Seiki. This one is about a world where people kind of have uh, slightly enhanced uh, powers to the point where, you know, someone can anticipate your muscle movements. Another one has a strong influence where they can influence what you do. Um, so Brilliance was good by Marcus Seiki. Will by Hugh Howie. This is uh, like my third um, paperback cover. Just because I love it so much. 
Dog Stars by Peter Heller, which is a great dystopian book. Um, it's, it's really written very well. There are no quotation marks or he said, she said in the dialogue, which some people might hate, but I listened to the audiobook. It was fantastic. I have a signed hardcover of this, but I want the paperback. Um, this one I got from a friend called Builders by Daniel Polanski. I haven't read it. Looks like there's some kind of mousy creatures, like Redwall Gone Dark Fantasy. That looks cool. Sisters Brothers by Patrick DeWitt. I've read this one. I've not seen the movie yet, but this one was very entertaining. I have Philip K. Dick's to Andrew Android's Dream of Electric Sheep, aka Blade Runner. We all know that deal. Oh my goodness. I have a great The Last One by Alexandra Oliva. This one I thought was really great. It was a dystopian book about like a survival TV show uh, where people are put on an island. They're told they're on a TV show. They're meant to survive. But unknowing to them, there is a bigger fiasco that's happening, which is really cool. I enjoyed it. Um, the This is The Radleys by Matt Haig. I love Matt Haig for the humans. How to Stop Time was okay. I have not read The Radleys, but apparently it's kind of like a vampire young adults uh, book. Looks pretty cool. Um, this is Genius the Game by Leopold Gout. I have not read this. This is like another YA sci-fi book. Um, it's got cool little get ready to run stuff it's like a uh, it says trust no one every camera is an eye every microphone is an ear find me and we can stop him together welcome to the revolution the game genius the game by label Um uh, let's see next box uh, Red Claw by Philip Palmer I have not read this it's been on my TBR forever uh, this is space marines and science heroes griffins and Godzilla's it's all here in a gripping tale of man versus nature. Like, hello, is that not my mood? So I really want to read this. I've been trying to find it on audio. He has another book called Debatable Space, which I think was his debut, which got a lot of claim. But I saw this one, I saw the little, art, the little action figures on the front. And it says, relentlessly energetic, inventive, and shamelessly ambitious. Boom, sold. Red Claw by Philip Palmer. Let me know if you read this one. All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. I've read this one. I did not really like it. It was kind of funky. This one I think I had sent to me in a book exchange once. And it's a signed hardcover copy. And yes, I put Mylar covers on most of my hardcover to protect the dust jacket. Uh, the Alchemist by Paolo Cohelo. I have not read this one yet, but I've heard it's amazing. Um, and it's pretty short. I should get to that one. Obviously, One of Us by Craig DeLuey. I did a review for this one up. Uh, it's up currently. Go check it out. I really liked it. It was kind of a dark twist on, you know, people accepting others for what they are. Uh, the Curious Case of the Dog in the Nighttime. This is was a was a great read. I liked it a lot. It's about a boy kind of uh, on the autism spectrum, trying to search for who killed his dog. This has turned into like a Broadway play now. It's all over the place. Um, but it's really cool. You should check that out. Um, because I did a review of Black Star Renegades, I was sent "We Are Mayhem" by Michael Morisi. The cover of this looks amazing. It's just book two in the series. It's kind of like a very close Star Wars homage. So if you like Star Wars, check it out. Oh, I found this at the thrift store. I was really excited. Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. It's kind of like an old school book club edition with the old art. This says it was published in um, copyright 19, well, afterward copyright 1979. Original copyright 1953, Fahrenheit 451. 
I have not read that, which I will soon. Oh, yeah. I have some graphic novels. Neil Gaiman, Sandman, Preludes and Nocturnes, which I believe is book one. It's like the original uh, Vertigo Publishing of Sandman, Volume 1. That looks awesome. I have not read that yet. Here's one that I found. It looked very cool. It is Graphic Classics uh, HP Lovecraft issue where they have different authors or not different authors, different illustrators illustrating um, some of Lovecraft's work and stories. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. I look at the cover of this, it's like some guy covered in pimples eating a worm hot dog. That looks awesome. Um, and I think this might be the last one is Every Anxious Wave by uh, Mo Daviao, which is kind of like a time travel. Uh, it says a punk rock time travel love story for the ages by Kirkus Reviews. Why would we need music if our lives were exactly as we wanted them to be? Which is cool. Obviously, music, time travel, I'm sold. Um, that one looks awesome. I have not read that one either. Oh, we did it. In about 12 minutes. Thanks to you for watching. I'll be back with part two of my mid-year book haul. Um, let me know if you read any of these. And let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. So yeah, bye-bye.